Um, so I watched a version of Dracula tonight. Uh, I have conflicting reports on whether it's from 1973 or 1974, but um, it's Dan Curtis's Dracula, starring Jack Palance, written by the late, great Richard Matheson. I just found out it was a TV version, like, looking at the Wikipedia. I didn't realize that when I was watching it. I actually got the DVD at the... I'm, I'm going to sound like an asshole right here. At the Saturn Awards a couple of years ago when I got to go, because I um, was doing social media for Warner Archive Collection at the time, and they were nominated, and I got to go, and I met an Ewok. And it was amazing. So in the swag bag was that Dracula, and I meant to watch it last year, um, and then I forgot that I had it, so I... Um, watched it this year. Apparently there's a 1968 Dan Curtis, Jack Palance, Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde. Clearly I need to find that. Um, I didn't really like this version. I guess probably because it was made for TV so it wasn't very gory and it was like... I know some people really love 70s television and there's aspects of 70s, tel 70s television and certain 70s television shows that I really love. Um, but it was like 70 bad 70s television. Like bad 70s television. So, obviously, um, Jack Palance plays Dracula. Um, he's not sexy enough. I'm sorry, Jack Palance. Like, he was sexy. Like, if you go and watch that one he did with Joan Crawford, um, shit, I can't remember the name of it right now. It's a noir, so, um, if you wanna, hold on, I'll find it. You can watch it for noir member. Uh, Sudden Fear. He's really sexy in Sudden Fear, but that was 1952. 1973, 74, depending on what website you're on. Um, so he's too old. He's not sexy enough. He's just, just creepy, actually. Um, and everything was just hokey. Yeah, it's pretty hokey. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want vampires from that era, like the early 70s, go watch Dark Shadows and just enjoy the campiness that is Barnabas, you know what I mean? Um, or cut to a little bit later in the 70s and watch um, Frank Langella because talk about a damn sexy Dracula, like, ooh, that's a good movie, too. Uh, I got to see that the Castro a few years ago, and it was like giant, and Jack Palance is all, not Jack Palance, um, Frank is all hot, and then Laurence Olivier is like, and it's all serious. And I'm in my kitchen. I thought I would mix it up a little bit, um, which is why you can see uh, Vin Diesel getting his star on the Walk of Fame. Um, very important. Here, wait, I'll show you. Uh, this is unrelated to the review, but I have this really great sort of collage going on. If you can look at that. Pause it right there, and you guys can try to name all the people featured. Um, there's a lot of Joan Crawfords and a lot of Burr Lancasters. Really, if you came to my house, uh, like, there's a prize. Okay, I went to Berkeley, and at Berkeley there's, like, you try to spot all the bears that are all over campus, and there's, like, a little, really little bear that no one can ever find. Um, and I spent, like, four years trying to find a little bear. So, my house, similar, only you'd have to go and spot all the Burr Lancasters, and then you win a prize. I don't know what, but you win a prize. That was <laughs> completely out of Nowhere. Wow. That's why it says 1974. Here we go. Wikipedia. The initial broadcast in October 1973 was preempted for an address by address address by Richard Nixon on the resignation of Spiru Agnew. Instead, it was broadcast in February of 1974. That's why I got the conflicting dates. Wow. Oh, Dan Curtis produced the original Dark Shadows? I don't know. Dark Shadows is great. This, I just, not, it just didn't work. Um, I also, like, why, why do the exact same take on Dracula over and over again? Like, do it differently or don't bother. Like, with the, with the uh, other Dracula, you know, they made it really sexy, and the Bram Stoker one, which I remember hating, but I feel like I need to rewatch the, um, 90s one. That one was just bizarre, a weird movie. Um, what else? Yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Uh, say hi to Vin Diesel. A couple more days, it's November. 
Halloween's come around, you should just tell me what your Halloween costume is. Um, I'll probably watch a movie on Halloween morning, so I'll review at least one movie in my Halloween costume. So you'll get to see my Halloween costume, but I would like to see your Halloween costumes as well.